We hate to do this once again to Isabel Roloff. We've long been of the belief that it's inappropriate for total strangers to speculate about the status of someone's womb. And we know Roloff got understandably peeved the last time pregnancy rumors about her spread throughout social media. So we'd like to apologize ahead of time, okay? However, it is also our duty to report on the latest news and innuendo, especially when it does appear as if there is a strong reason to actually buy it this time around, which is all a long winded way of saying the following. Isabel and Jacob Roloff may be expecting their first child. Earlier this week, Isabel shared a photo of herself, her husband and one of their dogs. As you can see, the family is all cuddled up and smiling and Isabel then wrote as a caption, it's hard to imagine this life getting any sweeter, and yet I know somehow it will. Granted, this isn't exactly a pregnancy confirmation. It is, however, a snapshot of Roloff's most precious loved ones and a message that strongly hints something pretty darn sweet is on the way. It makes sense why some followers are assuming the best in this instance, you know? I have a premonition a baby's in your future soon, wrote one hopeful individual, while another added, Yes, baby. During an Instagram Q&A late last year, Isabel told fans she and her husband definitely plan on having kids. She also said how much she's been loving life as an aunt, with both Zuck and Jeremy Roloff being parents to a pair of children each. One of the best things this life has ever given me is the chance to be an aunt, she wrote at the time while posing with niece Amber. I hope that these kids know that for as long as I'm living, they always have somebody on their team. Jacob, a former cast member on Little People Big World, has been with Isabel since 2014. The couple got engaged in 2017 during a romantic getaway to Iceland and then married in 2019. Over the last two years, meanwhile, they've endured quite a lot. Isabel, for her part, has been open and candid about her mental health struggles. Last month, for example, she gave thanks to Jacob for how she handled one of her panic attacks. Jacob talked me down and held space for me in the most understanding way, she explained at the time. He said the most important words to an anxious person experiencing an attack. It's going to be okay. Jacob, for his part, made national headlines a short time ago when he said he was molested by a Little People Big World producer. I first began contemplating this statement when the attacker texted me years later in November 2015, Jacob wrote on Instagram in December, adding. I choose to disclose it now, as it remains a traumatic memory that needs to be exercised of any further power over my development. By revealing this, I may be more fully understood and my perspective on issues such as child sexual abuse, child exploitation and the collateral costs of reality television may be received more clearly. Although I would have to add that this experience has not solely defined my point of view on any of these issues, nor has it defined my worldview in general. Jacob emphasized that he did not blame any of his relatives for what transpired years ago, only the perpetrator himself. It must finally be emphasized that all fault lies with the predator and no fault lies with any of my family. I am certain that this is a positive moment for me and another step toward a brighter future. Jacob signed off by adding that he stands in solidarity with silent survivors. And we continue to stand with him. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.